Hello, everybody. It is a beautiful December morning right after Christmas. And I am right by my chicken coop. Out here digging up a few of these sunroot varieties. Right here. This one is called White Fusu. Fusu, Fusa. I'm not entirely sure how you pronounce it. But a really nice variety. Little to almost no knobs on it. Does really well here in Florida for me. Nice mild flavor. Really good for boiling and then frying up or just frying right up or yeah, something like that. This is just one of the 40, 50 varieties of sunroots that I grow. And this is a nice one. Really good one. Nice productive uniform tubers. Not all sunroots, Jerusalem artichokes are very uniform. This one is. Nice good variety here. And this is just a little area I've been harvesting off of it forever. There's one. They come right out. But really nice variety to grow. Really tasty. This is a new spot where I stuck them here. So it's really compact. And they didn't. So. But they seem to be okay. They hold their shape nice, even though the soil's really. Sand really is dense here, but there's some nice ones. Look at that nice, small, longish tubers. I'm gonna take these inside and fry them up with some eggs right out of that coop over there and enjoy me a nice breakfast. Breakfast with my wife and son guys so you guys take it easy if you're looking for any sunroot varieties I grow quite a few ones that do well all over the continent so grow some super easy stick them in the ground in the spring or if you're like me procrastinate until August and then stick them in the ground you know <laughs> oh shoot forgot to plant those this year but they store forever in the fridge if I didn't harvest these these would sprout back next year for me as soon as it warms up they'd start sprouting normally about February they'll come back naturally for me this is a nice variety I've been growing for a few years really good really good one so grow food, guys. Grow your Jerusalem artichokes, your sunroots, whatever you want to call them. Get yourself some white fiasu. Again, I'm not entirely sure if I'm saying that right. They're the long white ones that begin with the F name, guys. <laughs> and really tasty. There's also a red variety. I like the white. A little better tasting. But still, they all taste amazing. Look at that. Beautiful tubers. So go grow some, guys. Super simple thing. Stick them in the ground. Come back when you want to eat them. What better way, right? There are more productive varieties. This is not the most productive. But I like the uniformity. And I like the flavor, so. And they all flower, they all send up beautiful flowers. Especially if you plant them early in the year, instead of waiting. You can get some beautiful plants and massive harvest, instead of just a few tubers off of them. I grow so much and my schedule is so packed with planting that a lot of these day length sensitive tubers, the yams, the true yams, 
the sun roots, the potato mints. I wait until the last second to plant these. And works out pretty well. Nice tasty little roots. So you know guys, keep following me. Keep growing food. You know, if you're watching this video and it's on YouTube, subscribe. I like subscribers. I need more of you guys. Join my cult. Yes. Grow food. Follow those steps off the film theory, you know. Oh, Christian, I want to join your cult. I know you do because I said so. <laughs> what? <laughs> Sorry, guys. I just watched that. The film theory on his uh, Fifty Shades of Grey video. Huh. <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking about that. <laughs> Alrighty then, the cult of, of what, of, uh, I don't know, just wanted to eat good I guess, right? Too many people don't eat good, eat well, eat garbage. Gotta grow your own food, grow amazing things that taste good and look pretty cool and can be beautiful when they're growing. Right? I'm just rambling now. See you later, guys. Grow food. Get yourself some white fusu sunroots. Or some red. Or some yellow. There's a yellow variety. Or some Florida sunroots. Some gigant. Some super cluster. Some boil. Yeah, there's one called boil. Uh, gosh, there's too many to name. Hundreds of varieties. I grow a few dozen. Some do better than others, but they all have their attributes. All taste good. You know, this is a little patch of them right here. They're just sticks right now. I've been harvesting them for actually a few weeks, a month or so now, and been eating them. Probably should have made a video for you guys earlier, but. Why not do a half-ass video of me just digging up a few and talking too much? Gonna end this video with a shot right there. There you go, look at it. Enjoy. See you later, guys.